And we're back. Now on Route 5. Performer Street. Sounds like... terrible? Oh, hi. It's next stop. You got a bolt badge, I got a bolt badge. Ah, we're doing this again. Let's test who's stronger, you or me. This time, I'm gonna win. Sharon, I think you place too much value on beating me in particular. I mean, there's lots of trainers in the world, and eventually, you know, the pecking order is gonna sort itself out. And you can even have trainers who are very close in overall skill level. But, you know, a tactical mishap could result in one of them losing. You know, I'm not saying that winning once doesn't mean that you're, like, always automatically better than the other person forever. I guess really the point I'm getting at is this is a very unhealthy obsession that you're entertaining there, Sharon. Think it means I can't use the same move? I'm surprised you chose that move. There's nothing surprising about me choosing that move. Just like there's nothing surprising about me doing this. I mean, in the comment section of uh, last week's video, Vitaly himself even mentioned that that Lipard or Vipard is not really the, the most powerful Pokémon around. In a way, I feel a little bad that I, I picked a Pokémon that, that's actually kind of um, it's on the weaker side, for sure. Um, I'm going to try to make the best of it. This team isn't ideal, and, and I didn't realize like just how much that was true. Because I legitimately forgot, like, how few lightning and fire types there are. Like, Game Freak just does not care unless it's a water or flying type. I'm gonna try to make it work, though. Do what? Yeah, Vitaly's kinda had enough. Thankfully, I do have a good answer for a water type. Now, that, that is kind of the trade-off, right? Like, there may not be many electric types, but because I started with Fuzzy, I'll always have one. I'm going to keep my starter. I'm not, I'm not giving up my starter. What weirdo does that? And trading the Pikachu in yellow in order for your friend to evolve it and send it back does is not not going to the game without your starter. It's fixing a fundamental flaw in the game design. That is a really powerful attack. I'm going to risk it. I uh, should've used Bug Bite, that could've been something. Ah. Uh. Well, it was a calculated risk. Turns out I'm bad at math. Let's see... Really, if I had used a Bug Bite, I could've taken the Citrus Berry and turned that around. See, this is what I'm talking about, Shirin. Even trainers who are decently competent will make mistakes from time to time. It's not like strength is an absolute absolute quality that is just virtually immutable in all cases. Tranquil. That's a burb. Better switch them out. Thankfully, I do have an answer for birds as well. Alright. That's gonna do sweet nothing. Interesting quality it has is uh, that removes the immunity to ground type moves that flying types have. Not that I really need that quality, but I can think of situations where that could be useful. In fact, if I really thought about it, I would have made roll like the perfect shoe in during a uh, pansier. Oh dear. Would have made it a. Uh, Roll the shoe in for a lessons gem, I just didn't think about it. You know, Sharon, you know those monkeys are terrible, right? And there was this guy back in whatever, not New York City, who was offering to, like, essentially evolve them for us. I will go back there and get the stone for you if you just use something that's just not that Pokemon. It's fine. Mind you, it's not over yet. Uh, I mean, it basically is, for being perfectly honest. 
Roll somehow avoided attacking despite being completely asleep. Wow, I was not expecting that. Really? That's not... That's just annoying. Alright, you finally got Flame Burst off. Good for you. I hit you with a rock and be done with it. Just throw rocks at you. That's literally all I'm doing. You are strong, as usual. Why? Why can't I beat you? I mean, if all you're doing is counting your win-loss ratio, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. You dear friends. That's nice that you're helping each other by getting better by competing. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay. Oh, and if it isn't Alessa. Art festival's grand. Life should be enjoyed. Who is this man? This is Alder, the Unova region's champion. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person, are you not? My name is Alder. I'm the Unova Pokemon League's champion. Please make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Because no one in any position of power in Unova can actually just be at their job and do their job. There's probably a whole line of champion applications who are just sitting there on their hands because this guy is off on pilgrimage. I'm Sharon from New Vamatown. My goal as a trainer, as a trainer, is to become the champion. Traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. What do you plan to do after becoming champion? What else is there other than trying to become stronger? Strongest trainer, that's the champion. Becoming stronger, becoming stronger, you say. Is that alone enough of a goal? Hmm. It's not that I'm trying to say what you're thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokémon. I think that's important, too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Want you to have a Pokémon battle with those two? I get the feeling you're not going to give me a say in the matter. You two, come here for a moment. Understood. Before that, sure and fully healed Snake's Pokémon. Let's go to battle. Sarah and... Okay. Billy. <laughs> there it goes. Now, this fight's going to be uh, startlingly dumb. Ah, oh, it only registers once. Unless that other Hurtier has a different ability. Probably better to go for the stab. Looks like Sharon has the same basic idea. Mmm. That does a boatload of damage. Sorry, Vitaly, I tried. Well, if it's the normal types we're up against, we need to play with a little bit of a defensive bent in mind. Lacking any ghost types, this should do nicely. Upside is I only have one Pokemon each. That kind of breakneck strategy will definitely knock out of one Pokemon at least, but you're just gonna end up in a position where you're not gonna do a whole lot going forward. And yeah, the game knows what I meant. That did a lot of damage to me. I'm glad to see it still applies. Where is everyone getting this unlimited supply of citrus berries from, anyway? It's not like this is a Gen 3 where you could actually take some time and cultivate them. My Pokemon was so cute. My Pokemon listened to me what I said and... That was such a weird sentence I couldn't even make it through because my brain stopped halfway. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon look like they're having fun. I mean, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. Driftvale Bridge just ahead. Uh, 
Can I get a double dip on that heel? The champion is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. That's not doesn't make you sound like a Sith Lord at all. It's tremendous that people can Pokemon each so different, can acknowledge each other, and be together. Hi. Little busy? Hi, Trina, let me turn you into a work of art? What? I'm like a 3 out of 10 on a good day, dude. I guess this is fine. I forget exactly why. I kind of forget my own attacks every week, and I have to like relearn what my Pokemon have. That's good enough, I suppose. How annoying. Oh, it just got whitewashed. Uh, okay. A swap who's on point, at least. A fuzzy take over, and if I run into a 2v2. I'll go go there too. Alright, weirdos, out of the way. This way. Yeah, I'm trying. Now to contact him. It's me, Alessa. Please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple of trainers who want to challenge you. Thanks. Watch this. Wait, gym leaders have control over local infrastructure? Isn't that giving entirely too few people entirely too much power? What does Alessa know about the shipping industry through this region that she can just command on a whim that they drop the bridge? I know that, mechanically speaking, it's just another way Game Freak railroads us on account Game Freak can't make games to save their lives, but why, why do gym leaders have that much authority? That seems like way too much power. I have a TV gig, I gotta go. Gym leader of the next town may take some getting used to. Do your best, both of you. Alright, Wednesday, get out of here. What I am as a trainer. I prove I'm right by getting stronger winning in battle. Even against a champion. Okay, Darth Lamius, just calm down. No one here really says anything interesting, and you can also find feather items here. I mentioned that briefly when I found that ice gem back in that one cave that was bugged out or whatever. The ship passes, the drawbridge raises and lowers. Which raises the question, where did you come from? How are you people already on this bridge? The clay controls when the ships run from the start, so when the bridge raises and lowers is up to clay. Even if it's not Alessa, that's still too much power to give to one person. I can encounter some birds. This is really more to demonstrate the fact that that was a reality. You can also get feather items, which... I meant to capture that, but whatever, point proven. You can also get feather items, which act like uh, light versions of the nutrient items that you can get in other games. Raising a Pokémon's base stats as a result. But I'm not going to worry about it, because it's yet another water flying type, so who cares? Hi. How about the city's pride and joy of the drawbridge? You also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form? There's no Charizard in this region. Why would that be your frame of reference? Hi. Bridges are amazing because they're a symbol of connecting the world. The guy on Route 5 is saying the same thing, isn't he? Whatever. Welcome to Driftvale City. Thankfully, there's not a whole lot of messing around. And we're already in the town. Hi. Hmm, so you're the trainers Alessa was talking about, huh? I'm Clay. Clay, I'm the gym leader around these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now. Because when we lowered that bridge, the Team Plasma guys we caught done escaped and all the ruck that... <laughs> Clay, that makes no sense. The bridge is... <laughs> it's a two-dimensional structure, Clay. Unless they can just fly away, in which case the bridge was a non-factor in the first place, everything you just said makes absolutely no sense. What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how is it our fault that they escaped? 
Also, wouldn't there be discrimination concerns? Like, in order to become a Pokémon Champion, you have to be able to go through all the crap that these gym leaders are throwing at you, including, apparently, regional control over transport and infrastructure. Would someone in a wheelchair be physically capable of doing this, no matter how good their Pokémon are? I mean, I'm just thinking out loud here. You can say whatever you want. What's important is y'all showed up and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy-handed, but you ought to start looking for Team Plasma, too. You're real talented trainers, aren't you? Uh, tell you what. If you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Well, that's all about give and take. See, on its face, that sounds fine. But again, this could be... This would be a discrimination lawsuit in the real world. Like, you can't even ask someone if they're married on a job interview, but this guy is sending us after a terrorist cell for the privilege of challenging his gym. Like, does anyone else think this is completely insane? Because I do. I suppose that's fair. But really, we would have looked for Team Plasma even if he hadn't asked. I can get stronger while beating that bothersome bunch. Bah, 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 bah. So next, I'll go on ahead. Yeah, you do that. I'm going to the Pokemon Center. Oh yeah, there's an, uh, an outdoor market, which basically sells weird, like, inferior versions of normal healing items, but your Pokémon, like, take a negative hit to their, uh, affinity for you if you use them. It's all sorts of weird. Seems like Game Freak will have an idea that on its face is fundamentally sound, but the mechanical execution just makes it completely irrelevant, so it's like, who cares? Happiness evolutions are a really good example of that. If your Pokémon is in your team and you're running around, their happiness goes up, no matter how gradually. So, as a result, it might as well not be in the game because you can max it out in no time. There's the gem, by the way, but yeah, we are... barred. Because as ten-year-olds, it's our responsibility to deal with local terror cells. Little guy in Route 6 is searching for legendary Pokémon. If you're interested, go talk to him. I don't care, dude. You know there's like 70 legendary Pokémon. At this point, they're not even legendary, they're just the objectively meta choices move. Anyway. Uh, Team, Team Plasma's inside cold storage. But I guess I'll stop and see if there's any Pokémon worth catching. So I'll flash forward so you guys don't have to sit to that. Alright, we caught our first Ice-type Pokémon. Which, I guess, being called cold storage, that does make sense. This Pokémon formed from icicles, bathed in energy from the morning sun. It sleeps buried in snow. I actually really like ice types. I kind of feel they have a bit of a bum rap. So... Whoops. I actually did a challenge run through uh, Ultra Sun with nothing but ice and bug types. And it worked out pretty good, actually. I'm gonna name him Chili, after Chili Willy, the penguin. Old cartoons, if you're old enough to remember that. Alright, I'm gonna poke around a little bit more and see what I can find. Snack. Do you think Team Plasma could be in there? I don't like cold places, we have to check. What a bother. Well, I mean, where else in town would they have gone, genius? Ugh, this bike is more trouble than it's worth. Unless we're hatching an egg, I guess. I am Team Instinct in Pokémon Go, so... Well, still. Is there anything more important than strength of trainers, like the champion said? Are you still on about that, man? I'll never understand as I'm thinking about it. What a bother. Let's hurry up and check inside. Which means you're gonna let me check inside if these guys attack us. You don't have to the containers, some places are frozen, so you go sliding around. Oh, good! It is every generic ice puzzle under the sun. For a moment, I was worried. I love this like, little cup shape right there, just to throw you back out. Uh. Scald, ooh, that's a good move. I think, definitely think we can put that to good use. For those who don't know, it's a water type that can actually cause burns. And it's pretty powerful. Which means it'll be perfect for Angelica. Looks like Bubble Beam is about done its time. 
instead of gently blowing bubbles, will instead be blowing boiling hot water. Yeah, I once had a physics teacher ask me if I'd rather hold a handful of boiling water or a handful of steam. Ultimately, his point was that steam has more energy. It would hurt you more. When it's cold, wear a lot of clothes. Only humans can come up with something so clever. Not exactly, but whatever. But I pointed out the fact that boiling water would come down into my hand. The steam would go up into the air, away from my hand. So yeah, it could theoretically cause more damage, but the boiling water is there to stay. The steam goes through your fingers and you're done. I'm probably overthinking things, right? Yeah, definitely. This is a bit of a risk. But I'm gonna see if I can't make it work out. Or you can just not do what I figured he would and try to use something like Incinerate. I was kind of hoping that would be that. That's fine. Not sure exactly what Fuzzy is slashing with. I don't see a little katana on her or anything. Timber. Yeah, just to be safe. No sense in taking unnecessary risks. Which I guess I technically just did, but... Eh. Okay, I know this is just one of those things about monster designs, but like, Timber and its species always have, like, 4x4s with them. Are they born alongside the 4x4s? I struggle in vain. Yeah. Okay. I think this Let's Play is a bit of an education and having a sense of patience. Oh, I should have traded Fuzzy out. You're pretty energetic during the cold place we're in. Let's warm up with the Pokemon battle. Are you kidding? I love the cold. It's the heat that I'm terrible with. The fact that they were just so determined to make those tri elemental monkeys into something is really just testament to the fact that Game Freak can't make games. Ah, I was really hoping that would just split the difference, you know? Oof. Now, you've made me mad. Already proven what a little bit of carelessness will get you. The upside to him being a Moonstone evolution means that, you know, Gogo is like my one fully evolved Pokemon right now. I didn't really think I would like it, but I do. I warmed up. After the last battle, my heart is freezing. You knocked out my pet spider. How do you think I feel? You're the jerk here, not me. Yeah, I'm gonna put Dutaku on point. Rule of threes dictates the next one I'm gonna encounter is gonna be the third monkey, but this way I ensure that even if I'm wrong in that estimation, I still don't run into a weakness. I, although I am in the cold storage, my heart is burning. Cool. I recommend Tums. I'm not, like, endorsed by them or anything, but... I have made a mistake. wonder how many times I'll openly admit that during this playthrough. <laughs> Wake up slap? Okay. That's a normal move. I was really worried that'd be way worse, but... Nah, no, better do the safe thing. If he hits me with a fighting move, Taku's going down for a three count, so... Now 
Oh no. Oh no. That's a Sonic Adventure joke, everyone. And notice how uh, witty and comical and topical my references usually are. Sup? Best trainer advice type Pokemon in the cold storage. That's me! <laughs> I really wish I had a fire type. Or I guess Angelica would work just fine. You know one of the things that kind of bugs me about the myriad of issues that Pokemon's elemental table brings? Ice is strong to ground, but weak to rock. But really, how truly different are ground and rock? That should have just been one type called Earth. I don't know. I just feel it's really goofy the way it's laid out now. What's also really goofy is just why Dark has like a million weaknesses. And then what do they do? Oh, dragons are too powerful! Better nerf Dark types! And then they introduced Fairy, which just made it worse. Oh no, I'll train every harder at the Ixorus gym. Isserus? I was like Isserus, but... Whatever, dude. suppose it's a logical thing to find here. Hi. Ready to battle? I'd be thriving in this condition, you kidding? On the one hand, the variety needs something to be desired, but on the other hand, it does mean that Gogo -Go is definitely making waves. Yeah, see, that's the thing about Bide. You're assuming you're gonna survive the first hit. And that was your first mistake. And interestingly enough, also your last. Nah, it's fine. Gogo's got this. I think if we're about level 30 for the next gem, we'll be okay. I remember it being really tough, though. Clay and, uh... Lenora were definitely some of my big stumbling blocks. So we'll see how that goes. I'm shivering. Well, I didn't think you were drunk or anything, so I don't know why you felt the need to clarify that. Oh, is someone in there? Yep. Shall we go? Uh, you're not gonna offer to heal me, are you? Alright. Well, I'll be right back. So a cave is fine, but because this place happens to have a tile floor, it's no good. It's whatever. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> 